Now let's turn our attention to the center tank because the center tank, because of its location, provides a very dangerous scenario with a very high flammability. All fuel tanks are vented. The wing tanks on our aircraft are vented using a small inlet in the leading edge of the wing with a venturi that provides a di slight divergent for the air to pass through, so a slightly higher pressure of the ambient air coming in. The reason we have to vent the fuel tank is to prevent a vacuum when we use the fuel. Air simply has to go in and replace that volume. So the fuel tanks are not isolated fuel cells, otherwise we wouldn't be able to take fuel out of them. Putting ambient air into that tank provides a highly flammable environment because of the high concentration of oxygen. This is not the case for the wing tanks and only persists for the center tank. And while the ambient air having a high oxygen concentration does not provide a flammable environment in itself, adding to it the location of the air conditioning packs and the heat exchanger right underneath the center tank acting like heat sources cooking the fuel in the center tank above. We are now providing a center tank which is heated from below with a high concentration of oxygen ambient air and that provides a highly flammable environment in the center tank. To prevent this, we have the fuel inerting system. The fuel inerting system takes bleed air and then puts it through a series of oxygen depleting stages to replace the ambient air within the center tank. The oxygen content within the depleted air is less than 12%. And that provides for a much safer environment within that center tank. It works independently and works from when the engines are started until they are stopped.